everybody and welcome to my book review of The Wild Girl by Kate Forsyth. I have loved Kate Forsyth ever since I read her Witches of Elianen series when I was about 12 and this book is exceptional. She has blended elements of fantasy and history together really really well which is something that I really admire in a lot of good novels or a lot of my favourite novels. This book is about a young girl called Dotchin Wild. It starts off when she's 12 years old and she makes friends with the Grimm family who live next door. Dotchin has a kind of tough life. She's never granted a lot of liberties and her father is quite strict and controlling. He's a very religious man and he's quite hypocritical in his religion, which makes a sort of tension throughout the book. The book is told from the point of view of Dorchin, the protagonist of the story of how the Grimm brothers came to write their books. So there's Jacob, or Jakob, Jacob, <laughs> and Wilhelm, Wilhelm, William, I don't know how to say their names, I'm not German, but it shows their sort of struggle against poverty and against a lot of oppressors in their journey on writing the Grimm's fairy tales. I like the historical context of it because it's something I've never really read before and it's shown during a time where Napoleon was invading their home kingdom of Passancassel. It shows the overthrowing and struggling of old rules against a new society ruled by Napoleon and I think it is a beautiful depiction of the struggle that they go through um, against impending poverty and change. Dorchin herself knows quite a lot of stories and it shows that throughout her friendship with William and Jacob she told them a lot of stories that they later used in their books. So in a way um, she helped gather the stories for them and put them into words. These stories that hadn't previously been written and published that had been passed down from family member to family member over generations and I think it's gorgeous. Her passion in this book is something I admire and her determination despite the hardships she goes through. There's a lot of um, issues with depression, with abuse, with a lot of different elements like that so if you're kind of sensitive to those subjects I wouldn't recommend reading this book because this book is a book of struggle and of suffering and overcoming that but it can be quite confronting. I found this book quite confronting but I enjoyed it anyway. You can read this book in sections which is something I like. I read it sort of bits at a time because like I said it is quite heavy and sometimes you just have to step back from that a little bit. Um, so I read it maybe 200 or 300 pages at a time and then I let it rest for a few days and then I read it again. Normally I read through books really quickly but this one I like to take my time with. It didn't make me enjoy it any less, it just made me sort of pace myself with it. Which I am glad I did because I love this book and I didn't want it to end because I didn't want to get out of the world that these characters lived in. I really love fairy tales and I love the way that Kate Forsyth has integrated the telling of fairy tales into this book and I think she did a really fantastic job at it. So if you read this book please let me know because as always I love to talk about the books that I have read. <laughs> 